everybody, and welcome to today's session. Uh, this session will be about an overview of the Docker platform. So if you're new to Docker or are curious what more you might be able to get out of Docker, um, this is the place to be. You'll hear from our senior product leadership team as we walk you through a lot of what you can do to improve your team's developer velocity. Um, I'm our VP of products at Docker, and I'm thrilled today to introduce two other members of our products team, um, Yui and Ben. Yui, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, yes, I'm Yui Kao, Senior Director of Product Management at Docker. And I'm Ben, I'm a Principal Product Manager here at Docker. Thank you, folks. Really excited to spend more time with all of you today, and so are the team. As you heard in this morning's keynote, developer teams across the world are trying to get more speed and more agility. As they move from source code through complicated spaghetti messes of integrations and connections, they need to work their way to shipping at the end of the day. And how do they do so? It's so complicated. Everything from your code editor to security to source code management, configuration management, your CI CD pipelines, it's so much work. We hear regularly the team spend months setting all of this up and getting to a good place. Um, and yet you want to get to and you need to get to a point where all of that is automated and everything works together effectively. Um, but you need to do so in a way that doesn't lock you in, such that the tools you adopt fit in with the tools you already use. Um, you don't want all-in-one solutions. You're looking for best of breed, but not in a way that makes it so painful um, that you can't keep up. And Docker enables you to do exactly that through accelerating your app delivery. We help you connect all those different pieces across all the different touch points of your pipeline and your workflow as you collaborate with your team locally in development environments, across to the cloud through things like Docker Hub, and finally deploying into production. As you look throughout the development lifecycle, whether that's all the different options your teams use today for editing code, for building, for testing, and for deploying, um, there's so many options, all of which are popular. This fragmentation makes it so challenging to keep up today. And so it's so critical for you to be able to connect things together to maintain that velocity, stay productive, and stay focused on delivering value rather than on configuring your solutions. To enable you to do so, Docker has delivered a collaborative application development platform. And this platform provides all the different pieces that you need in combination with our own technologies and partners to integrate all of those together effectively to get your jobs done and to focus on creating more and more velocity and more and more productivity um, so that we can make you faster rather than becoming a distraction as many technologies do. To walk you in more detail specifically around application development and what you can do to improve is our Senior Director of Product Management, Yui Kao. Thanks, Donnie. So let's talk about modern application development. When I talk to application developers about what a day in their life is like, there are some common problems they run into when looking for images to use. They might need images to use as a base image. It might be an image that brings in a dependency for their application, such as an agent or library. It might be images of other apps and services to, de to develop against. It might be an image with all the developer tools your team requires to serve as a basic development environment. Many of the same questions arise about these building blocks for your application. How do I know if this image is maintained? Do they address bug fixes and CVEs? How do I know if I can trust that the image in this repo isn't from a third party cleverly named bit of malware? Um, how do I keep my image secure? And how can I find out when a new version of my dependency is available? Let's talk about how Docker can help. We know that developers trust the Docker official images. They make up about 25% of all pulls from Docker Hub. Developers can trust that they'll be updated continuously in a timely manner, and that you and your teammates can be confident that it's coming from Docker and not from a bad actor. We announced in our keynote today that the Docker Verified Publisher program um, is starting at, with the, Docker Verified Publisher Program, we're growing the amount and variety of trusted building blocks for your application that you can find on, on Docker Hub. 
These images will be coming from repositories hosted on Docker Hub that Docker has independently verified as being from a trusted publisher, really industry leaders and not a malicious actor. You can easily identify these with the verified publisher badge, similar to the Docker official image badges. We hope this program makes it easier for you and your teammates to find more of the building blocks you're looking for right on Docker Hub to build and develop your application with. Now let's talk about how Docker can help with image security. Your team might be looking to find out if an image you're considering using contains significant known vulnerabilities. With our partnership with Sneak, you can use Docker Scan at the command line with any image to quickly get a vulnerability report with critical high, medium, and low assessments, as well as recommendations for how to remediate those vulnerabilities. Often, the remediation might be as simple as updating an upstream dependency. What about a more automated process? On Docker Hub, with a pro or team subscription, you can set up automated vulnerability scanning against your own images that will run after every build. Vulnerability scanning can help your team feel more confident in your overall security posture. Another aspect of image security is limiting access to your repositories to least privilege, particularly in CI and production use cases. With the new scoped personal access tokens coming this summer, with a pro or team subscription, you'll be able to create access tokens with different types of scopes. For example, a repo public read scope would limit the token to only be able to do Docker pools from public repos on Docker Hub, while a repo read scope would uh, limit the token to only be able to do Docker pools and not Docker pushes against the public and private repos that your team has access to. You could use that type of read-only scope for a personal access token with your production Kubernetes to pull images only from your repos as an authenticated Docker user. A repo write scope, which limits the token to push or, and pull only into repos that account manages, would be perfect for CI use cases. We're excited about how these new access tokens can help contribute to your team's overall security hygiene. We just talked about how a Docker can help you and your team have access to more trusted building blocks for your content, as well as how you can be more confident in the security posture of the images you're using. But what about the process of developing those applications? In our interviews of developers, we hear quite a bit about some of the problems they face when developing and running their applications. We'd hear that they would love to more easily approximate their production environments in their local development. We definitely heard many of you who went to Docker's public roadmap and upvoted the request for Docker Desktop to support Apple Silicon. And we just introduced Docker Desktop for Apple Silicon last month. It's now generally available due in no small part to the Docker community's enthusiasm and support in helping us to find bugs and test fixes. With Docker Desktop for Apple Silicon, you can be confident that we aim to ensure your team can develop on the newest dev laptops out there with the same experience you've come to expect from Docker. If your team is developing for ARM-based cloud environments like AWS App Graviton, you'll now be able to do end-to-end -end ARM development. With uh, Docker BuildX, um, uh, it's a multi-architecture build support. Your whole team can continue to collaborate, whether using x86 or ARM. And with over 95,000 ARM images on Hub, including many Docker official images, we think you'll find what you're looking for. And also of note, uh, desktop for Apple Silicon is, is generally available, which means uh, with your uh, with the paid Docker subscription, you can get premium support. Now let's talk about Compose. So many developers love Compose. Our surveys show two thirds of Docker users use Compose with more than 800,000 Compose files just on GitHub. Here are a couple of improvements we've made to help you use Compose anywhere and everywhere. Um, Compose service profiles can help your team to run slightly different services when you're debugging versus testing versus developing while managing that all in one consistent place. Profiles allow adjusting the Compose application model for various usages and environments by selectively enabling services. 
This allows your team to define additional services in a single Docker Compose YAML file that should only be started in specific scenarios, for example, for debugging or development tasks. And as well, for lovers of Compose, deploying to production is simpler than ever with the new Compose integration that enables you to deploy directly to Amazon ECS or Azure ACI with the same methods you use to compose and create your cloud native applications today. Please consider giving both Compose service profiles and our Compose cloud in integrations a try. And with that, I hope everyone has a great DockerCon. Over to you, Ben. Awesome. Thank you very much, Yui. Docker is more than just a container registry. Docker is a set of tools that allows developers to work as a team around a project. Projects and applications we know are more than just one service or an image. They extend to the whole boundary of value that a developer cares about, and they're built by teams of people. Docker Hub team subscription provides teams secure and consistent control over this content with private repos, security scanning, and audit trails. Docker Hub and Docker allows teams to come together to produce high quality content backed by Hub's official images. And we empower teams to share and ship that securely for their end-to-end -end applications. All of this is powered and supported by the ever-growing experience for teams in Docker Desktop, providing them in a way to come together end-to-end -end from the desktop through into the repository, out to production to secure and control their content. Around collaboration though, we've heard that people want to bring more of that collaboration back towards their inner loop. The inner loop is that process of creating brand new value for your customers. It's your coding, building, testing, debugging, and it's all of that work before you go and open your PR. And we're hearing that developers want a way to work wherever they are, either remote or together, to collaborate around that content prior to opening up that change request. They don't just want to throw things out or over the wall. They want to bring all of that back into the inner loop and collaborate as they're creating that new value at the point of creation. And today, this is hard. This is hard today as when you're working like that, particularly in a remote first world, you tend to be collaborating around Git. And Git's an awesome way of moving code around, but modern applications rely on more than Git. They take the code dependencies that you're working with and that wider development platform that you're working in, and it requires all of that for you to actually understand what you're doing with your application and how you're working. It requires you to collaborate on that, on that Git reference, but that's hard on your remote. People can't come and look over your shoulder and look at your version of the dependencies or your version of the code. And in this new world of remote first, that's harder than ever. Along with that, we want to look at how we can make all the tooling that you work with portable and really engage with all of that as part of the platform that you're working with and empower you to do all of that local first rather than pushing you up into a browser or in some IDE that isn't your choice. And with that, we're really excited that we're work what we're working on with Docker Dev Environments. Docker Dev Environments provides you a way to make your entire working space portable with your code and your dependencies. With a team subscription, you can share that with anyone on your team with just one click, allowing you to take all of your content in whatever state it's in, your current branch, your dependencies, and share that with anyone on your team as simply as you'd do a Docker push and they'd do a Docker pull. This gives your teams increased reproducibility of your whole development environment and means that you can work side by side on multiple Git branches, wherever you are, remote first. We really want to bring that sort of, hey, check that out, check this out, looking over your shoulder workflow, that handing someone over your laptop into that remote first world. Docker Dev environments are going to be fully cloud agnostic, uh, fully IDE agnostic, allowing you to work in your current IDE of choice. They're going to be powered by Compose, embracing the, the manifest that we know developers love today for defining their applications, allowing you to extend that to define your development environment. Dev environments are going to be team centric. We're going to allow you to share and collaborate with your whole team, having these shared workspaces and dedicating space for that in Hub. And that will be the whole application. By using Compose, we can extend that boundary of interest to more than one service. So you're not just going to be working on just your code in a single container somewhere with your dependencies. You can do that with all those other services you care about and do it all in one place. 
And that's just where we're starting off with looking at how we can make the development environment portable and part of a wider experience for you. We're going to look at how we can take the rest of the development environment that extends well beyond your source code editor, and make that portable between your desktops, between your developers, between your users to make it ever easier to just say, hey, check this out and to really jump into each other's context and collaborate on what you're working on. We're kicking that off by looking at how we're going to make give teams the ability to share volumes. And we're going to extend that, looking at how you can share other portable parts of the application and put that all under a Docker workspace. And there's more to come in this space. And we're really excited what we're doing here. And really what that is, is we're building out a platform. We're really proud of the trusted platform that we've built in Docker. Trust in a platform is really knowing where your content's coming from. And we know that developers are looking for a stable, reliable, and a standard platform. At Docker, we're really proud that we are built and build and are built upon industry standard for registries and that we contribute things like the Compose spec out to the community and continue to build these new experiences based on these open standards. We also know that as part of our platform that everyone's not ready for these complex setups and that some people do really want turnkey solutions as part of the platform. Things like auto build, our GitHub integration and what we're doing with dev environments, we're really excited to continue to bring these one-click turnkey experiences to our pro team and free users. We also know that other people do want to get more complicated integration set up and extend our platform as part of that. With webhooks and Slack integrations for team pro subscriptions, we allow you to stay up to date with everything that's going on. And with our audit logs within the team subscription, we allow you to really start to interrogate that data to improve the trust of what's going on with your teams. We also know that as we've it changes that developers want more knowledge and understanding about their consumption. We've added API responses about the information of pause you're doing, and we're going to be adding more documentation about the best practices for controlling your consumption with registry mirrors and more coming. And we are so proud of the documentation we've got. We love the feedback we hear on it. We've also heard, though, that from our documentation we had, that a lot of people wanted to script and build off our platform. We had some gaps, and we're now really excited to say that we've started to produce a full set of API documentation for Docker Hub. We have our first Swagger docs up for some of our APIs. And we're excited to be building more and more of these every single sprint. Last, we've heard that people really want to get started to access uh, all of this from the CLI, the place they love to work today. And that's why we've released the Hub CLI. Hub CLI is a tool that allows you to access all the APIs <clears throat> on Docker Hub start to script that as part of your outer loop or as part of your inner loop. This allows you to do things like automatic management of hub accounts, token rotation, removing the unused content that you don't want to use, <clears throat> remove your unused content, and look at if any content is stale. It allows you to do things like validate multi-art applications for availability, which is particularly important now with the M1 Mac coming out, and also look at the usage of your team subscription. We've also been looking at from that control point, what happens with the content of Hub? How much control our users had over that as part of our platform? Whenever a user pushes to Docker Hub, your content isn't deleted when you repush latest. What happens is the old content's there, but it's no longer got that latest tag. And what a lot of people don't realize is that old content might still be being used, or at least they can't see it. And that means you've got this ever-growing backlog of content in Hub. In fact, Hub has petabytes of content now, and only about half of it currently has a tag associated with it. We've heard that people wanted more visibility and control over that old content, particularly so they could delete it in a more granular fashion. And we're really excited with the release we've done for our prone team users to access the Advanced Image Management Dashboard. The Advanced Image Management Dashboard gives teams more granular control, visibility, and overall that security to remove unused old content from their hub subscriptions, either as a team or a pro account. And we're gonna be adding to that soon with the ability to set custom retention policies to better control and automate the removal of that content. We're really excited with the platform we're building, the features we're doing to empower and accelerate developers. And I really hope that you've got that from the rest of DocCon. And with that, I'll hand back over to Donnie. Thank you, Ben. And thank you, Yui, really appreciate sharing with all the developers using Docker today, um, the power of the complete platform. You've heard a lot about this collaborative app dev platform. You heard about application development from Yui, and you heard about the collaborative platform from Ben. As you put all those together, 
this is what's going to enable you to accelerate that application delivery as you focus on solving really complicated problems every day, creating value for your customers. Docker is here to help you pull together all your complicated solutions and focus on delivering that value rather than on the infrastructure. You can do all of this. You heard about accelerating that through not only the free Docker that many of you already use, um, but through what we're delivering for pro, team, and large subscribers. So take a look at that today. There's so much value across the board. We know that we can help you get shipped done with a Docker subscription. Thank you for coming to today's session.